May his soul rest in peace. To health matters, having a cancer diagnosis is often a life-changing moment. These patients suddenly have to cope with the realization that they have a terminal disease. It is a time when the support of family and loved ones is really needed. But as Mary Mwoki reports, some patients are not so lucky. They have to face the reality of their illness alone after being abandoned by their families due to their illness. Take a look. When 42-year-old Norbert Njuguna was diagnosed with cancer two years ago, he didn't imagine there could be anything worse. The news shattered him. He is a widower who lost his wife in 2005, and the sole responsibility of raising their daughter lied squarely on his shoulders. He turned to his family for support and hoped his mother would help him carry the burden, but he was in for a rude shock. His mother turned her back on him. Family kuna ma time ilifika sasa wakakuwa ni kama wame give up kwa sasa some of the majority wakondokea. Norbert has found solace and support from the Lady Hope Wellness Institute run by Veronica Njuguna. Veronica who works in a hospital began the charity after seeing firsthand the challenges cancer patients were going through. It was her own little way of lessening the burden. I saw the need to have an accommodation for them because when we uplifted them, they had nowhere to stay. So we, I decided we are helping in need case. So from that time, I've been paying for the NHIF, which supports them a lot, but it's not enough because before they assess treatment, they need consultation, which they pay cash. They also need lab tests, which are not covered by NHIF. So I feel the government should look into the NHIF issue and it should be used even for screening. Veronica is passionate about lending a helping hand to those diagnosed or living with cancer, a leading killer disease largely influenced by changing lifestyles. Lifestyle diseases have become a major concern in developing countries, contributing to about 70% of modern day deaths. But that's another really big problem that we are having. That right now the fads is that we go for fast food, food is readily available, and you look at all the additives and it's really not healthy. Medical practitioners have raised the alarm that lifestyle diseases among them cancer have become the second largest preventable cause